Hi, this is Null Inquisitor, and this video will be a combat example run in GURPS. This will be the shorter version of uh, an example in combat. You may want to check the other video I did about the same process. So I'm just going to uh, really dumb down to the basic essential what a combat uh, flow is in GURPS. So let's start away. So before the combat, you have to take notes of every character's uh, involved basic speed. So this stat you will find uh, in your secondary characteristic on each character sheet. This is uh, located here on my little template. So both of my characters here have 5 in speed. So I will have to uh, split this character and decide which one of them will act first. I could go by dexterity, I could go by, by IQ or even perception or even will if it's, a, if it's a battle of will. But in this case I will just throw a dice and just determine who's gonna go first. So Manfred is a 1 and Chefe is a 6. So Chepe will go first with a basic speed of 5 and parentheses 6 and et, like we say, voila! So if you have, uh, I don't know, 5 characters, uh, you can already know who's going to act first if everything is according goes according to plan. So, uh, in this case, Chepe will act first. He will choose a maneuver in uh, the book. Uh, you can find the basic maneuvers in uh, the GURPS Basic Sets uh, 2 campaigns at the page 363. There is a full description of all the maneuvers, but let's keep it simple. Uh, Chepe will just attack my other guys. So, for that, I need to roll. Uh, my basic attack skill, a broadsword skill of 12. So let's see how it goes. I must roll 12 or less on 3d6. So uh, I fear it's a fail. Yes, I just rolled terribly. I rolled a 16. So it's a fail. So for this turn, poor Chippy does absolutely nothing. So we go to Manfred's turn. So Manfred is pretty much built the same way than Chepe. He will try to do an attack. His uh, sword has two, uh, two damage code. One is a cutting damage and the other one is an impaling attack. I will try to impale Chepe. So I'm calling this to the GM before rolling the dice. Make it fair. And then I'm rolling against his uh, broadsword skill of 12. I just rolled a, an 8, so it's a success. It's uh, under 12, so my attack is a success. Chepe, uh, since uh, the maneuver was a success, we're going to step 3. And Chepe have the occasion now to defend against this attack. He can dodge, he can parry, or block. So, uh, Chepe have a shield? Um, does he have a shield? <laughs> let's pretend he doesn't have a shield. Yeah, let's go dual style, blade against blade. He will try to parry. So, Chepe have a score of uh, 9 in parry with his sword. So, I'll try to uh, roll this. As you can see, the, um, the parry score is generally a little bit sl uh, less than uh, the, uh, the attack one, just because it, it's calculated with a different formula. So, um, in ge generally, your defense scores will be a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit less, lesser than, than the attack skill. So, I'm gonna try to parry with Chepe. So that's a, <laughs> that's a 17, it's a critical failure. 
So that doesn't go well for Chepe. So since uh, the defense is uh, unsuccessful, we roll for damage for Mr. Manfred. So Manfred have called an attack called the uh, Impaling Attack. I'm gonna roll one dice damage, and this is a three points of damage. So normally I would just remove from the current current HP or hit points of Chepe. I would uh, remove three points. But there is a little check uh, for damage resistance or armor. And uh, Chepe indeed have a leather armor and a DR of 2. So the damage we rolled earlier, uh, 3 minus 2, is just 1. So Chepe just received 1 point of damage. Last step is damage consequences. If any damage bypass the armor, uh, it's possible that re you receive a blow and the armor will take uh, all the damage. In this case, if I had to roll one point of damage, the armor of Chippy would have soaked all the damage and we, uh, we would have stopped at uh, step five and just returned to step one. And, and Sir Manfred would, would continue with his action. So, uh, but since we 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 uh, poor Chippy lost one point of damage, we're going to go with the damage consequences. Uh, you can find this in the GURBS basic set two at the page um, four hundred eighteen. This is chapter fourteen: injuries, illness, and fatigue. This is where you will find all the rules for uh, damage and receiving receiving injuries and wounds. So the only uh, notes I took here, shock penalty. Well, unless you have a specific uh, advantage called eye pain threshold, all characters are affected by shock or pain. So uh, that just means one little thing. Since uh, Chepe received one point of damage, he will have minus one to all his actions during his next turn uh, until the, the pain will uh, go away and, and the pain will go and the shock penalty will disappear once he act uh, on his next turn uh, the shock penalty does not apply on the defense on the defense role this is an exception to make uh, combat more fun and manageable and the shock penalty have a maximum of minus four in GURPS fourth edition. So uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, two more things you need to know to run a combat in GURPS. If your character uh, drops at zero, zero HP, you need to roll HT. On each turn, the character wants to do something or fall unconscious. That means your character is just beaten down and try to uh, try to do stuff and he, he's injured and uh, and if he misses a HD uh, HD roll uh, he just fall fall unconscious on the ground if the character reached the point of minus one HP you have to roll your HD or die so uh, that's uh, crunchy uh, this chapter, chapter 14, is pretty pretty much uh, crunchy about all the details of uh, how you can uh, pretty much uh, go on your way to, to, uh, to, to the final death. But uh, if you're running basic combat, don't, don't get too complicated with that. Just, uh, just be reminded. If your character are near 0 HP, uh, or 0 or under, you need to roll uh, your health each round to uh, to act and uh, if you're under minus your your HP in the negative uh, like for Chepe that would be minus 10 um, he would need to roll his HD immediately or die and uh, voila so uh, once Chepe uh, will do his next turn he will try to attack uh, Sir Manfred with exactly the same sequence of action. Uh, he will try to do a maneuver, then if this is successful, Sir Manfred will try to defend. And if the defense is not successful, 
then uh, Chepe will roll for damage. We'll have a little check just to see if there's any armor or damage resistance. And then if there is any consequence to uh, that blow. And when we start horror again. So thanks for watching. This was the basic version of the combat uh, flow. So thanks for watching.